Hello everybody, Mosey Designer here, doing a very quick request tutorial. Uh, I might try to do this as a come along, if I can figure it out. But anyways, the question was of how to get an object to move, and as it moves, lights turn on. And the simple way to do that is with a cinematic. So I'm going to just take this platform here, expand it out so I get some more room. Go to my window modes, select a cube, put it over here. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter really. And lights, point light. Now, with the point light still selected, you want to go to the details panel and hit movable and the cube as movable as well. Then we'll go to cinematics at the top, add level sequence, and you can put it in the cinematic folder. You'll say new level sequence one, that's fine. You can name it whatever you feel like. And in the sequence, you wanna click on track, add a sequencer, cube. You'll get the transform. Location, rotation, scale, and the key for the time will be at zero, zero, zero. And you can hit enter for the first keyframe. Move the timeline to the end. Move your cube and hit enter, and you get a spline. Hit play. It's moving. Simple. Name of the point light. Select it. We don't even have to select it. You can just go to track and go to add to see, actor to sequence point light. Again, we get this tracks for intensity and color. And on our first keyframe, hit enter. And we'll change the intensity down to do this. Just click on it and move your mouse left and right to change the value. And let's we'll scrub our timeline. As the cube gets closer, we'll hit enter on our track. Take the intensity and scale it up. Let's say just the RGB, the red color. Click on that. Scale that up as well. And our green and blue values will bring down closer to zero. We have a nice bright orange light, that's fine. And we can move our timeline. Enter. Bring back our intensity closer to zero. The third keyframe. And on these values, we can just type one and one. Or even. Zero, well, one is fun. And if we go back to to front, hit play. Our light didn't change, let's just see why. Here, because our intensity is still, we didn't have it correctly set. We want to go to our intensity track right here and hit enter. And now we have a keyframe there. And then we want to go back to our beginning, make sure the intensity track is selected, hit enter. And right here, enter. So at the beginning, our intensity is closer to zero. Middle, our intensity goes way up. And then our intensity goes closer back to zero. And you can change these values as needed. So if you go back to front, hit play. Here we go. So I think that's kind of what your the question was asking of how to have an object move and the light intensity changes with it. And the color changes too. So you can do cool things like that.
So how do you actually get this to work with the blueprint? Simple. Just click on your sequence icon, go to blueprints, open level 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 blueprint, sorry. Move event pick. And make sure it's still selected. Right click, create reference to new level sequence. Drag a pin out and type play sequence. And right there it says play sequence player. Move all down, take a pin from event begin play, compile, save. Close that out. And if it play, So the object came towards us and the light intensity changed as well. And we can make it sure that at the beginning the, the, there is no light at all. So we can just quickly fix that right here. Stop. Click on our RGB values. And we can just select them and hit zero. And our intensity, so that is zero. Click on this value here. We can increase our red value. From here, make sure our values on the last keyframe are zero, zero, zero. Go back to front. We can do a quick play here in our timeline. That's pretty cool. And if we hit play, it's already connected to the blueprint. There we go. So I think that answers the question that was being asked. If it didn't, let me know. And I can try to answer the comments and answer the question in the comments below. But as you can see, just scrubbing the timeline, the intensity changes, and you can add more keyframes to have more subtlety to it. But I think this gets the answer solved of how to have a moving object, and the object, as it gets close to a light, the light changes. So there you have it. As always, be sure to like and subscribe. I'll try to answer questions as I get them. If they're simple like this, I'll solve them. Enjoyed the gaming videos as well, and I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.